Hey everyone. So I am in Spain and uh, I my last video I told you that I was going there. It was really early. Well, this is the evening, my last day here at the conference. And um, uh, first I want to show you the surroundings because it's quite beautiful here. It's all very yellow and um, we do have some clouds today. And um, I'm a bit tired because we had so many beautiful evenings and Spanish time. Uh, everything is very late, so we have dinner at 9 and uh, usually at 10. And then you have to chill out and relax and talk with people. And then, of course, you go to bed very late. And breakfast is before 10, so you have to get up. And so what happened? I was in Madrid with Paula and I stayed at her place and she is starting a school here in uh, well not here I'm now in the neighborhood of Toledo but she's starting a school in Madrid and it's going to be a Sudbury school uh, based on the model that the Sudbury Valley School in the USA is uh, is doing with uh, total responsibility equality and um, freedom for the for the kids that are gonna attend this school it's gonna be the first Sudbury school in Spain so it's pretty exciting and uh, she's been learning a lot uh, also these days and we've been talking talking and talking because i was in a sudbury school when i was 16. i actually started a school when i was 16 a sudbury one and i went there for two years so it's really nice to to have someone uh, she's my age uh, and talk about this so we traveled to toledo and uh, actually a smaller town, I keep forgetting the name, something with a U, I guess. And, um, well, I don't speak Spanish. Uh, I only can say hello and goodbye uh, in Spanish. And that's about it. So communicating sometimes was a bit hard, especially with the kids. Uh, so we played. Uh, play is universal and if I do this, then people know that they should stop. And if I do this, hey, then it's very, I'm open to play. So that was nice, and um, but most of the adults uh, spoke Spanish, so that was cool. I met a lot of different people. Um, there were a lot of homeschoolers, so people who school their kids at home, and um, um, they have a lot of freedom at home, and they can follow their interests, and they are really also um, a part of a of the town community and uh, kids also go out there and you know really learn in 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 life by doing so it was really nice to talk about that a little bit because you always have the idea that the kids are stay at home all the time and never outside and don't meet anyone but actually they are they are meeting a lot of people and they're very very clever and smart kids all of them all of all of the kids i met and um, some of the people here were pretty new to democratic education, which is the type of education that I had since I was 14. So I had my talk on Thursday and I talked about my, my story, um, how I got there and um, how it really, you know, made me very open and see a lot of possibilities in life and take responsibility if I see that, uh, that if, if I feel the need. And um, yeah, just, just, just feeling this, this freedom. And um, I don't know, it was really nice to share my experience as a student there. I'm not gonna talk about that right now because it's gonna be a long video then and it's already long because it's already been four minutes I see on my phone. Um, well, I had my talk and then all these people came up to me to thank me and to say that they were really inspired by what I told them and my stories and just the trust that people will turn out right if you don't, uh, if you don't put them in a public school or, you know, if you, you just trust the capabilities of, of a child and the, 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 the will to learn of a child and yeah create an inspiring community 
where you know you can discover and learn and live and do your share too so i also met a lot of people actually more than i imagined from other countries there's uh, people from england people from wales people from ireland people from france germany uh, austria and finland so i was not the only foreigner so <laughs> that was also nice sometimes because you know i could hook up with a foreigner and uh, talk <laughs> And actually, I did something very, very exciting because I sing, as some of you might know. Oh no, now you're gonna check my YouTube videos, aren't you? <laughs> but, oh, what the heck. Um, uh, I'll post, maybe, I'll sing more. Because uh, everyone really liked it. And um, I did uh, one of my favorite songs of First Aid Kit, Lions Roar. And I also sang one of my own songs. But since I'm not very good at um, playing the guitar, and especially with my own songs, usually I work with lovely guitarists, um, I decided to do it a cappella. So I sang my own song a cappella, and it was really scary to do. But I'm really glad I did it because this I found out that it's actually a really good story also to tell a cappella. And um, I don't know, everyone came up to me. There was a little girl coming up to me and she said, in Spanish, because, you know, she didn't speak English. Uh, she said, uh, you sing like a siren, like a mermaid siren. And uh, I got, I was touched by that because I always loved mermaids and sirens, even though they're, they might not be as good in the most stories. But uh, just, it was a very big compliment. And I got many, many compliments and I don't know, sometimes I'm a bit insecure and it's good to hear, but I felt really good sharing and singing and telling my story and yeah, it's been an exciting journey so far and I'm really curious where it's going to take me because now I went to France, as you could see in previous videos, and now I was here in Spain for a few days and yeah, I, I just want to do this more, travel more, uh, speak, meet more people and, you know, just tell and talk about education, about possibilities, about the purpose of education, about human rights, children's rights, about being entrepreneurial, following your dreams, you know, really taking responsibility also in your own communities and... Um, so I will keep doing this and uh, well I'll just give one more shot of the the sun is really beautiful now on this side I don't know if you can see it with the sun so I'll say goodbye and I don't know when my next video is going to be probably uh, it is going to be in November I'm gonna be on the stage of the World Forum in November in Strasbourg and um, but I will I'll try and do this more often. I got. Uh, do you do you like these videos? Mm. Uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> and um, I hope you have a wonderful evening. And I'm gonna enjoy a few days of a vacation here in Spain, and then I'll be back in the Netherlands and see where the road takes me. Bye. <laughs>